Hello and welcome everybody, this is TP Gaming with a special edition. Today we'll be doing a short tutorial on how to change a schedule. So, you got the game, you've got your airports, you've played all the hours and you're bored, you are in need of a new schedule, well, here are some options. Firstly, let's go to this page down here which is charityalbumman.blogspot.com and when you scroll down you will find custom airport timetables it shows you a description on what you need to do and then as you scroll down you will just see the airports Vancouver, Frankfurt, Munich, Stuttgart, London Gatwick and so on and so on and so on and so on and um, lots of them done by several wonderful people who have taken a lot of time to program these and the release date. Okay, once you have found an airport that you would be interested in, some of them are more, some of them are less, um, we will um, have a look at one, which is Battlehawk. Now, Battlehawk has many schedules as you can see for many many airports pretty much everyone um, I have spoken to him and he's a wonderful person allowing me to uh, use his schedules so this is what we're going to be doing uh, Gavin thank you very much I appreciate it on the right hand side you will find the links and a forum link you press that with your left button and then this will open a new page the sim flight network forums you should um, register uh, it's for free and that makes things a lot easier you can um, talk to the uh, to the wonderful guys there and the girls possibly I'm not sure and uh, ask questions and they're pretty much help you in any uh, any possible way that you may have questions about this game wonderful guys shout out to everybody and uh, but we're today we're having Battlehawk so uh, this is how Battlehawk page will look like well in this case it is for Vancouver um, there may be some pages that you can, well, you can read all of them, but you may not need to register to download the schedules, but um, it doesn't cost anything to register, so you might as well get going and then you can um, uh, get all the files for free. It's all legal, nothing illegal here. Um, we are very fortunate that the wonderful uh, producers of this game allow this and uh, it makes things just a lot more interesting and so shout out to Feel There, the developer of these games of this game and I uh, appreciate that uh, are probably in the name of everybody else that we are allowed to use this all right let's not make this too long um, so we'll scroll down here and he's explaining pretty much anything he's just spending so much time in here you're so wonderful Battlehawk thank you very much again and you can read through all this here and then finally we will come down to the zip folder what you would be doing is you'll be pressing this zip folder here. Um, I'm using Mozilla Firefox, so if you use another browser, it will be a little different. However, I believe this is not your first time that you have downloaded a file, so you know where to look at. So I've pressed this here, and on the top hand side over here, it has finished the download. Since these files are very small, it doesn't take that long. After you've downloaded, you open the file and save it for this example on your desktop. Later on, you may want to create a folder for all airports. Uh, you may also need, uh, since this is a zip file uh, um, folder, you may need to download a program which opens zip files. So after pressing that, uh, we'll be opening a new page over here and we'll just minimize this because we don't need that anymore and we have a file layer and it's called uh, CVYR Battlehawk 77. CYVR is standing for Vancouver 
So what we'll do is we'll copy this, or you'll be copying it to wherever you want, just in this uh, example. You either copy it by pressing it down the left hand, pushing, pulling it over here and letting go. Then the file will copy itself onto your desktop, which should not be very long. There you go. There it is. Now let's delete the whole situation again and do it the other way. You do a right click here on this left click copy, go onto a free space of your desktop, right click on it, left click on paste, and it'll do exactly the same job. All right, once we are finished with this, uh, we are going to leave this file. We're just going to close this down. We don't need it for that at the moment. All right. Um, now, so far, it doesn't matter on whether you have a uh, d uh, bought the game at Fieldware, ATC Suites or Steam. For the time being, that doesn't matter at all. But now it will get into a situation where you will have to decide. Um, so, if you have, for example, have chosen field there, then I believe, let me have a look, see this one here is field there, there it is. So if you have chosen field there, let's close this down, if you've chosen field there, this is where you would have to go. You would open up your, um, um, your explorer. Uh, let's have a look and see that we get everything correct here. Okay, yes, we now we got it. All right, now this is uh, you would open up your Windows Explorer on you know like start, right click, Explorer, and um, then you would go. You would have the name of your PC that could be your name or anything that you have named it. Then you would go to the disk uh, that you have your file open uh, installed into in this case i only have one so it's here on c if you have d e f or whatever you would have to have a look and see that once you've pressed the local disk that disk c go into program files times 86 search for feel there double click always a double click then go to tower 3d pro if you have the pro version if you don't have the pro version it'll just be tower 3d then go on to extensions, double click, you will get to airfields, double click. And once you've pressed airfields and have a double click on it, you should have more than just one. You will probably have a row of all the airports that uh, are yours that you have installed. Uh, there could also be other ones which you haven't installed because they've just been prepared um, to uh, to be ready, but there are some important files needed which you would only be getting once you bought the airport. In this case, I only have a Vancouver here. You will see this CYVR folder. You do a double click on that one, which opens um, your menu basically. So these are all the files that is that are in here. You need all these uh, to have this game running. Um, but to change your uh, to change your schedule, you will need the you need six um, files. And uh, at the moment, actually, I can see that there's a couple missing here, but that's not important for the time being because we don't need that as yet. I think I've deleted them the other day. Uh, this is a field there. I do not use field there. I'm just using it for Steam. So uh, so this is how it worked like on field there. On this field there, this is the area where you would be changing your schedules. So by doing that, it's very, very important. Uh, it is very important that you should make a copy of your original file. And what you would do is just sort of do a right click on your desktop, press new folder, and then you would write down like, oops, Vancouver original, for example, you would then highlight everything, do a right click, copy, right click paste and then you would have all your files in here now that we've saved the original version we can now open up battlehawks timetable 
I'll just make this a little bit smaller so they can sit next to each other. And this is how Battlehawk has made his, um, well, this is just in incredibly crazy the amount of work that he has put in here. So what we do is we have four files of all these bunches. We have four files, which we are the important ones. These are these ones. These are the in small letters. Nothing large. These large ones are just informational ones. You can open them up. You can see that Battlehawk has some wonderful information for you. Extra informations. Read me first. Definitely use that. Have a read through that as well. GA operators. I will get to that in a couple of seconds. All the days. You don't usually get that. Only he does that, and uh, maybe the odd one or two other ones. Usually you would probably have only a file of like six rows here, which have airlines, airplanes, airports, terminals, and it would also have a schedule and GA and local traffic. These are the six important ones that you would need. In this case, uh, since we definitely, for any time of the day, we will need these four Files, we'll do a right click on here, we'll copy it, go over here, do a right click and paste. Then it asks us, it has already these files with the same name. Yes, we definitely want to replace them. You can see those highlighted there. Once we are finished with that, um, you'd want to think about GA operators file. Um, GA is General Aviation, in case you guys do not know. These are the aircrafts that are usually the private jets or like um, flight school, everybody who has a private pilot license, you know, these small aircrafts like Cessnas and I don't know, it's just a million, uh, Cessna I think they're called. So there's just a million of those. And in case you're not very firm with these, you definitely would want to open up this file and have a check out because there is nothing worse than being in the middle of the game and starting to search for the uh, for the, for the um, call sign. So that is yeah just horrible. Either way, um, the next step would be to go to any day. In this case, let's choose, what should we choose? Let's choose Wednesday. Wednesday, and we'll open this up. Now, again, this is a huge amount of work. So just in case anybody of you is going to download any of these um, modified schedules, custom schedules, and if you are into producing videos like I do and uh, spreading them around the world, definitely do a shout out Spare some, spare some love to the guys who have worked tirelessly and uh, mentioned them in their videos or put a link down below and um, you know give them the idea to say, wow, somebody is using my schedule and uh, is appreciating it. So um, after you open this up, you have in this case an hourly situation. It is a four hour situation because at night not much happens really. Same over here. We have a three hour situation here. But apart from that, he has again cut down his schedule to hourly situations. However, every hour within itself will have. Uh, I believe four or five hours of playing in there where you can just sort of condense the whole situation a little bit. Importantly is these two. Here we go again. We have small letters of your airport and the GA and local traffic, general aviation and local traffic, and the schedule. Now the schedule is the most important thing. These are all your aircrafts uh, for American Airlines, Delta, Lufthansa, you name them. These are all the the whole bunch in there. Using this schedule on this page here gives you all day. And if you say, no, 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 I just want to play 10 o'clock. Well, you just go to 10 o'clock and then you have the schedule and the GA and local traffic as well. The size is a lot smaller, obviously, because it's a shorter frame. So let's take these 10 o'clock ones, do a right click, copy it, go over here on the left hand side, paste it. And uh, you can see they've been added here now before if they would have been there before he would have asked me to overwrite them if that's fine and uh, that I would have done that as well. So that that would pretty much 
do exactly what you want to do. All of a sudden, you have a new schedule. So um, that's what do we do here. Let's go down, bring this down and on, down. And here we have the whole situation under Steam. We have the same situation here. PC, local disk, C, program files times 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Tower 3D Pro, extensions, airfields, and then finally you have your list of airports all the way down the bottom here. When you will open up your airport in this guy, in this case, um, Vancouver as well, you will have your huge amount of files. But again, the important ones are um, these four, uh, these three airlines, airplanes, airports, this one, G, A, and local traffic, schedule, and terminal. These may be here and there and everywhere. I don't know. They're, sometimes they're everywhere. So again, same situation would apply over here. You would uh, say either I will take the whole lot, all GAs and locals, and the schedules, because these are two different ones. You will, In this schedule, you do not find any general aviation. You will only find that up here. So um, you could do this or you could just go and say, no, I just want to uh, we'll go by one back because we need these four here. Airlines, airplanes, airports and terminal. Right click, copy, right click, left click, paste, replace. Yes, sir. We want to replace these. So we got these replaced and then we will go to Wednesday, Wednesday, 10 o'clock. We'll take these two right click copy, right click, left click, paste, replace. Yes, sir. And that's it. Let's um, minimize this. We've got this here. Let's minimize this over here and open up the game. If all works well, then the game will start. If it doesn't, you made a mistake somewhere. Let's go. And what do we have? 10 o'clock. So we have Vancouver here. Let's scroll down to 10 o'clock. Um, traffic density you can choose as yourself as everybody knows um, you can choose your forecast foggy stormy random whatever um, but the time is important since uh, battle hawk usually has about four or five hours you can use 10 11 12 one o'clock maybe even two o'clock and uh, play shorter versions but you can stop the game anytime anytime you like so after that let's start the whole situation hope that the zero percentage will move up up to 100%. If it does so, you've done everything perfectly correct. If it stops at 63%, there is something wrong with the uh, schedule. Uh, there could be a mistake in there. It could be some, I don't know, a semicolon missing and so forth. However, you will see that this won't happen on these schedules. They've been tested. Other guys have, um, there you go. Power. Air Canada 574 requesting push and start. So we're all ready to go. We have a new schedule starting at 9.46, just a little bit early. And yeah, and you're all, all set to have a look at Gavin's newest schedule over here. In this case with, um, with, um, with Vancouver being an older one. But that was, of course, just an example. You would be looking at many many other airports that are a lot more newer but then again these airports are all wonderful you can play them and you may get a special and buy them cheaper and then you're roaring to have a different schedule there available for you all right everybody i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any further questions leave them down below in the comment section don't forget to subscribe look out for the next newest videos coming out very soon this has been another presentation of tp gaming thank you for watching everyone until next time bye bye